everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Will It Survive an Equestrian? This is a series where I take a makeup product, wear it all day to my riding lesson, and see how well it holds up through heat, sweat, humidity, wind, rain, all the possible harsh elements you, you can think of, and we see how well it still looks at the end of the day. Today we're going to be testing out a liquid lipstick. It's been a while since I tested out a lip liquid lipstick, and this time this one is from the drugstore. So as always, out of the literally billion other YouTube creators out there, thank you so much for choosing to watch me test out a liquid lipstick today. Be sure and give this video a like and subscribe to see more of me in the future. You can also check out my second channel, Alice at Adventure, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Cantering Gorgeous. But for now, let's get on with this one. So today I have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And Maybelline released these, I believe, maybe about a year ago. These are a long-lasting liquid lipstick. There are 10 shades in the original line, just, you know, very normal. Nudes, pinks, reds, plums. They also have like a whole nudes line of these liquid lipsticks too. So a decent amount of shades to choose from. These claim that the ink will last about 16 hours, so we're gonna test that out today and see how true that really is. To start out with, I will say that the packaging is kind of different. You know, it's like the square, really thick plastic type of packaging, but it is it is very, very nice packaging. You know, it, it feels weighted. It actually feels really, really nice for being drugstore packaging, it feels like almost like kind of high end. So I do like the packaging on it. I have shade 20 Pioneer. I just could not resist getting this gorgeous red shade. They also had a red shade that was more orange based, but I picked this one. These have kind of a strange smell to them. I don't know, I mean, it's not terrible, but I don't know if it's plastic. I don't know if it's supposed to be sweet or if it's supposed to smell like candy. It's just kind of weird. It doesn't stay, but initially it smells a bit a bit strange. The applicator, which is like an arrow and it's kind of got a little dip in it to hold product. Okay, so one other thing I, I do want to say is with this bright shade, you do want to be kind of careful because it is like ink and it will get everywhere. I was kind of playing with this a little bit and it splattered like red all over the place. I was concerned like, you know, did I scratch myself? Am I bleeding? It's just like, no, this is a whole bunch of red paint splattered all over the place, so be careful with it. I'm just gonna get on in and apply this liquid lipstick. Okay, so I applied the liquid lipstick. Here's what it looks like. It is very, very, you know, pigmented. Um, I only pretty much had to like dip in once for the bottom lip and once for the top lip. What I will say though about the formula is this is very, this is ink. It's not moussey like a liquid lipstick normally is. And so you kind of apply it and you think that it's really gonna like glide across your lips and it's not. It's kind of like you're soaking the ink into your lips, as strange as that sounds. You kind of like really have to work with it. Also, you know, I have a really, really bright color and it is not that easy to apply. I kind of feel like if you would have just had a normal applicator versus this arrow, it would be easier to really cut a clean line. That could just be my lips though. Um, I think it looks really pretty. I just really, really love red lipstick. I just think it's so bold, it's so mesmerizing. In person, I feel like this looks a little bit darker and more red, and on camera, it's looking a little bit more orange. When these liquid lipsticks dry down, I feel like they do kind of darken the color a little bit. It is a tiny bit sticky, like waiting for it to dry down. Did not pull away at all. It's still, you know, really, really saturated ink pigment. So I will be back in a couple minutes when it dries down a tiny bit more. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and I think the liquid lipstick has pretty much finished drying down. There's maybe a tiny bit of stickiness left to it. Um, it's not a whole lot though. The interesting thing about these liquid lipsticks is they do not dry down 100%. I mean, I can still feel a little bit and if we do like a kiss test, see there's a tiny bit right there, like the outline of my lips and maybe like a couple of crumbles. So they have not dried down 100%. They're not, it's not wet, but it's not, you know, like paint that's dried down. But because of that though, 
it's very comfortable, I feel like. I can move my lips and it doesn't feel like they're gonna crack. And it's not so dry that it feels like it sucked all the moisture out of my lips. So far, I do like that aspect. I think this red is really pretty. To me, it's like this type of red is like old fashioned type of movie star, Hollywood type of red. Like, I guess a pioneer in the world of makeup. I don't know, but I really, really like it and I'm happy with it. So we will see how well it lasts throughout the day. It is currently about seven o'clock in the morning. Today is just a normal riding lesson, so I'm gonna take you along with me and we'll see how well this liquid lipstick lasts throughout the day. I think I've touched all the points I've meant to um, and I will see you at the next update. So I am back. It is currently about 11.47. So the lipstick has been on a couple hours. It still looks really, really, really good. It's getting a little bit weird right here. My riding lesson went really good, but it is so, so hot here. It is like probably 90 degrees. I don't quite exactly know what that translates in Celsius, but it is so hot today. I literally almost died. That is what's happening, and I will see you probably at the last update. It is now about one o'clock. I just finished my lunch. I ate a sandwich and you know, I had my, was drinking my Gatorade and the lip color looks really, really good. I mean, I think it's wearing away a tiny bit in the center of my lips. You know, overall it still looks really, really, really pigmented. So I am happy and excited to see what it looks like at the very end of the day. It is now currently 5.30 in the evening. So I am back, it is the end of the day, and I'm really, really happy with the way this lipstick looks. So as you can see, it started to wear away um, in the center of my lips, but other than that, it is still going really, really strong. Considering the fact this lipstick has been on for over 11 hours at this point, I did eat lunch, I did eat my yogurt, um, I've been drinking all throughout the day. You can see my water bottle, it kind of like transferred a little bit on the straw. But I mean, like you can kind of see like it transferred a tiny bit, but it's nothing that's gonna smudge off. I have not eaten dinner yet. I'm really hungry and you need to go and eat some food. Um, I really do not, I'm not quite sure if this is going to last like through dinner or not. But either way, I think still think it looks really, really good. This would totally last you like through the entire work day, you know? 11 hours is still a really, really long time, but I really seriously highly doubt it's gonna look perfect after I have dinner. So I'm just doing the final check-in now, but I'm really pleased with this liquid lipstick. Um, wearing it throughout the day, you feel that it's here, but I still, it's not bothering me. After 11 hours, you know, I don't feel like all the moisture has 
sucked out of my lips or that it's kind of gross and sticky, you know, like kind of when liquid lipsticks break down, they just kind of, they get gross. It's not fun to wear them anymore. And this one, I feel like, you know, it still works pretty good. And today was a nasty, nasty day. The riding lesson went really well, but it was like 90 degrees here. So I was just like out in that hot, sandy arena. I was just like melting. I was, was not doing good. So like when you're just trying to stay alive, you don't really care what your lipstick looks like. But then you catch a glance at yourself in the mirror and it still looks really, really good. I'm really happy with that. So the main question here is, did it survive an equestrian? Yes, absolutely. I think it totally did. I would highly recommend you check out these li liquid lipsticks. If you need it for a special occasion, this would be a good lipstick to, sh to use when you show, just anything that you really need it to last a really, really long time. And I mean, this is red. This is bright red lipstick. This is not something that you can, that's easy to pull off if it gets screwed up. And I still, you know, I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much for watching and coming along with me on this extreme makeup testing journey. But now I'm going to go and eat some food. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, I'm back again. And I wanted to show what this lipstick looks like after I had dinner, right? I'm gonna take it off, but I wanted to show. I had a meatball sandwich, and so it was like, you know, cheesy mm, sausage, like just a mess. And look at how good this still looks. Yes, it did break down a tiny bit more, but it lasted really, really, really well. Again, I cannot say enough good things about this lipstick. Um, I am really pleased with it. So I'm really leaving this time. I just wanted to show you what it looked like after dinner. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.